Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I recently hit 1,000 subscribers. Yay! All right, so this is exciting for a few different reasons. Number one, because there are so many of you guys watching now and that is just really cool to me. Number two, it is a great way to get more views on my business of personal training, so potentially getting more clients. And number three, I can monetize my channel. We're gonna do a thousand glute bridges for a thousand subscribers. I decided on bridges because you can do a lot of different types of bridges. And also one of my big goals this year is to build and strengthen my glutes because my butt is flat. So I want my butt to look better and also it's gonna help with like overall mobility and my back pain. So here's the plan. Instead of you just watching me do a thousand regular good old fashioned glute bridges over and over and over, I'm gonna break them down into 10 different types. So we're gonna do 100 glute bridges, 100 single leg bridges, 50 on the right, 50 on the left, 100 banded bridges, 100 single leg banded bridges, 100 weighted bridges, 100 weighted single leg bridges, 100 elevated bridges, 100 elevated single leg bridges, and then 100 hip thrusts, which are basically just like reverse bridges, and then 100 single leg hip thrusts. I'm gonna regret this. I'm not really sure why my living room looks like a dungeon, but it's only for a few clips, so please don't click out of this video. Kev. Yeah. I'm at 60. Yeah. It hurts. I just touched down. Put no lane. Put the cross down. 100. Woo! All right, I just finished the first 100. My glutes are already kind of on fire. So this is going to suck. We're going to go into single leg bridges. I'm going to see if I can convince Kevin to come out here so that someone can count while I talk. And it's going to be like, Hot ones challenge style. Kevin? Yeah. You down? You need five minutes. I'll give you five minutes. All right, let's do it. like my watch now. Hey, this for the people that said I can rap, have to do it for y'all. Like I'm little new bro. I just live on the hard. All right, so working out at home during the quarantine, my number one tip for that is block it into your schedule. If you can schedule it into your schedule like you would a group fitness class, that's gonna be your best option. This is really hard. Ah, everything hurts. What number am I at? Oh, when do I start counting? What? That's 20. <laughs> <laughs> So we're talking about my favorite exercises while I'm just thrusting my hips. I'll tell you right now, this is not one of them at the moment, but some of my favorite exercises for core exercises, I love the dead bug. I know I've talked about that before. So I love that because you're lengthening um, or you're working, oh my God, it's so hard to think. So you're working extension rather than flexion. I've actually talked about that in this video somewhere right up here. But essentially, because we're sitting down so much of the day, our body's in this constant state of flexion. So we're always like shortening the uh, muscles in the front of our body, making them really tight. <sighs> okay. All right, so the other bridges with the single leg, they were hurting my... I'm covered in cat hair. They were hurting my back after a while, so I'm gonna do this instead, instead of this, and I hope that's gonna be less pressure. So, let's find out. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's so much better. As far as working your arms, I like to work them in compound movements, so pretty much working them like with other body parts at the same time. So I'm not a big working in isolation person until it's a burnout. So if I'm formulating a program, I'm going to want to do like a lower body exercise using the muscles of the upper body. And then I typically like to get down into some kind of plank position, so prone position, um, sometimes down into supine, so that's lying on your back. And then I'll burn it out with like a isolated upper body movement. So if we're gonna give an example, and I'm sure editing Justina is gonna put lots of videos so you're not just seeing me thrust my pelvis in the sky. Let's say we wanna work the shoulders 
um, I would consider doing, no, I don't want to pick shoulders. What number am I at? 40. Ah! So I would do like a front squat. So that's gonna activate the glutes. It's gonna use a lot of core and you're using a lot of the arm to stabilize with those weights away from your body. 50. Whew, switching legs. I would then drop down to the floor and I would do like some up downs or commandos. A lot of people have different names for those. And then I would get up and I would do just some kind of like isolated, just maybe like bicep curls, like uh, maybe alternating as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Because the biceps are gonna be a little fatigued, I might do like a, like a hammer curl instead because then you're getting the brachialis, which is underneath the bicep. So that's how I would program that if anyone cares all right just watch me thrust now that happened um i feel like doing those single leg ones with the leg crossed over like that defeated the purpose of the band but at least my back doesn't hurt so now we're going into we're going for weighted So an update. This is terrible. Oh. So after these next set, these like weighted single leg bridges, I can't even think. My brain hurts. Um. I feel like it's gonna be hard to stand up. We pay for this life. 50! Um, it's 600! Ugh! Ooh. We're at... Here's the, the, the bridge count. We're at... Thank you, husband. We're at 600. 400 to go, we're over halfway there. So we're doing elevated bridges. I don't know why I left these for last, because these are terrible. Ooh! Oh. High school days, I was back in detention. Yeah. All these girls that I will not mention. Nah. They don't fucking believe me before I got a necklace. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh no. Lane and I keep on running. Me and Vicky Sticks and these Playboy bunnies. You ah. All right, we're halfway through. We're fifty. I don't even feel my glutes. It's all hamstrings. All hamstrings. Darling, can you see? Girl, I'm all you need. We are at 700. So now we're doing 50 single leg, 50 single leg. She love how I'm rocking it. Betty's all up on my rocket ship. And she called me Zaddy and she got a fatty and she's so provocative. I'm and we're gonna see if I can count and talk at the same time. Let's see. Use my fingers. So glute and hamstring activation is actually really, really important because a lot of people do not know how to activate the back of their legs. So we become very quad dominant. And a lot of that, again, has to do with us sitting down so much during the day. That was 50, here we go, other side. Woo! So essentially what you wanna do before you even start anything with resistance training, you want to make sure that you're priming the muscles that you're trying to use in your resistance training. So I would do what I'm doing right now if, uh, if I was going to be doing deadlifts, 
if I was gonna be doing any type of squats, if I was gonna be doing like a single leg RDL, just anything where you wanna get the weight into the back of the leg. So you wanna activate or prime it first to make sure that that's what you're using during the workout instead of the quad, the front of the leg. What am I at? 25. Fuck, all right, halfway. So I will say, I'm starting to feel this in my calf a little bit, but we only have 10 more, so it's okay. But that's happening because my hamstrings and glutes are fucking exhausted. So my body is very smart and it's going to the next closest, strongest muscle, which is my calf, but it should not be doing this, so we're gonna stop for 50. Ah, uh, science! We got 200 left. We're doing hip thrusts. I always kind of a stretch, but like, we're basically still in a bridge. You're just starting lower to higher instead of starting. No, that's the same. My brain hurts. This is a 10 pound weight because this is my 800th covered in cat hair. All right, here we go. I'm getting dizzy. Oh God. All right, before anyone comes after my form, this is not the appropriate anything, so chill. Oh, okay. It's halfway. I'm like, whew. Honestly, I just want this to be over, so. <sighs> Final 100. I actually feel like, even though, <laughs> I feel like a toad. <clears throat> I was uh, okay. Final 50. I cannot recommend anyone do this. Best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I want it was to 999! 1000! I did it! Kevin, I did it! Are you proud of me? Proud of you. That was terrible. Don't. Alright. Let's just Alright, the legs are feeling a little jello-y. Again, I don't recommend doing this. This was really stupid. Um by the end, I was just feeling a lot of it in my low back, in my hips, and in my quads. You know, that's because as the muscles that are supposed to be doing the muscle action of thrusting your hips up get fatigued, you're gonna go to the next strongest muscle, which would be one of those. Anyway, I'm done. We're gonna say goodbye now. If you just don't unsubscribe. Thanks. Everything I believed in. But you said you said shut it off, you too old for dreaming. So I did, I did, did my best.